Hello everyone, Marlene here from Stock Paper Scissors. Today I have to show you a project that I made for a friend who's gifting it to someone for their wedding. It's a lace and doily journal or book and um, it does have pockets for her to store some memories and items from her wedding in. As well, I have made a covering for the outside of it to keep it clean because it's mostly all whites, beiges, and creams. So this is the cover. I'm going to show you it fairly quickly. And then once I get to the inside book, I'm going to turn off the sound and um, make the video with just some music. And I'll pan around to show you some special things about the book and then I'll come back at the end and close out the video. So I hope you enjoy this little uh, view of my project and please enjoy the music. So to start I put these clasps on the outside of this material. It was a Battenberg tablecloth. I cut it down to size and sewed it to fit the outside of the book. So it's held with these little knots, they're vintage. And they're a very effective way of keeping this closed. So there's one on these corners and then there's one more over here. I apologize if this video is shaky, I'm having to hold my camera in order to get the whole thing in view. So what I did was I cut out a square of this material trimmed it, sewed it, lined it with satin. And then in order to fit the book and to fold up nicely, I put some, see if I can show you here, see some snaps. So when you fold it in, it would stay in place. So there's two snaps on each end, holding the book in place. It opens out and then you get a full-size square which the journal is wrapped in. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast making anybody nauseous. So that's the cover. This is the journal itself. This is the outside page. What I've done with this the uh, spine is I put in a corset binding. It's the book itself is quite large and it turned out quite chunky. It measures 12 inches this way, 9 inches this way, and the spine is approximately a 4 inch spine, between a 3.5 and, and a 4 inch spine by the time I was finished. So that's the front cover. Most of the flowers inside this I've made myself. There are a couple that weren't made by me, but most of them are. I have a lot of vintage trims, laces, doilies, and such throughout the book. On the front cover, the base material under this, I used um, beige napkins. I had six of them. I don't can't remember if I used them all, but I just used them as the base, and then I covered them with laces and trims, appliques, and ribbons etc and then the spine is a hard spine it does have a heavy cardstock or heavy cardboard inside it to help it hold its shape on the back I have a large applique with some pearls and some glitter and some small flowers and lace trims at the bottom. Many, many, many layers of trims went into this and they all dangle down at the bottom. And you'll see that as I flip through the book. And once again, for a closure, I have this trim that I put some flowers on and then I've used some of these vintage frogs again to hold it shut. So, I will open the book and I will flip through it now and I will pan and show you some of the elements, but I won't be talking through the rest of it. So please enjoy the music. Thank you for watching 
And if you stayed till the end, thank you for that also.
that's the end of my journal. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.